Hello everyone, welcome to the first TVNC Resolve tutorial on this channel. In this tutorial, we are gonna learn how to create a color matching scenes transition in DaVinci Resolve. Now we are inside DaVinci Resolve and you will notice several tabs at the bottom of this famous video editing software. Those have different purposes to use and we basically start editing from the editing tab. So let's click on it. Within this tab, you find the media pool where you can import various assets such as footage and audio. The media pool is similar to the project panel in Premiere Pro. If you are missing it, you can make it visible by selecting the media pool option. By the way, if you want this exact layout, you can reset the layout from the workspace. Well, let's import the photos by right clicking on the blank area. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Ctrl plus I. Following this, click on the import media and navigate to the folder where you have saved your media like footage. Choose the relevant footage and then finalize the process by clicking on the open button. With your media imported, it's time for working with the footage. When you hover your mouse pointer over the footage, it shows a quick preview on the source monitor. But to start trimming, you need to double click on the video clip that allows you to set the mark in and mark out points on the footage within the source monitor. Now we have to move the player to find the point for setting an in point. I wanna do it exactly here because it is the starting part of this shot. After that, click on the mark in icon to set an in point. Now let's find the ending of the shot. For creating a color matching seamless transition, I recommend finding the less detail and blur area of the footage. In my case, this black area is perfect so I can create an out point by clicking on the mark out icon. This area has been selected within the footage and here we have some options to drag the footage onto the timeline. I only want the footage on the timeline. If you play the video, you can see its preview on the timeline viewer or program monitor. Ok, let's double click on the footage and find a point where you wanna set an in point. Then hit the icon on the keyboard to set the in point. Move the playhead to the right and generate an out point by hitting the OK. Here is the selected footage, now we can drag it onto the timeline. You can hold down the alter key while scrolling your mouse or you can use this small slider to zoom in or out of the timeline. Now if I play with the time indicator, you might notice a black area at the end of the first video. Similarly, if I perform the same action with the second video, you also see a black area at its end. Now the aim of this tutorial is to bring the black area from the end of the second video to the beginning. First, drag the second video to the left close to the first video. If I move the playhead, you can see our transition is like this. Ok, it's time for the final settings of this transition. Right click on the second video and choose change clip speed. Now enable reverse speed option because this change will assist in moving the black area to the beginning. Once done, confirm the changes by clicking change button icon. Let's move the playhead to see the transition. If you want, you can apply fade ins or fade outs to the videos by clicking and dragging this small white icon. Now hit the P key for a full screen mode and hit the spacebar to initiate video playback. I hope this DaVinci Resolve tutorial can be helpful for basic video editing tasks and for creating this kind of cool and straightforward color matching seamless transition. I'm currently making different tutorials for DaVinci Resolve focusing on creativity. Hope to see you in the next one.